Hello P6 Doiling Parents. This is a screen of math last week when we were online with our Zoom meeting. We were using Google Slides. And the reason why I was using Google Slides is because it gives every student an opportunity to access the online work that we're doing. So last week we were looking at modeling multiplication and the students were able to manipulate and move around those different pieces that they were using to show that they understood multiplication. So this is what we're going to be using throughout our online or at times throughout our online learning because it allows the students to interact with what we're learning and what I'm teaching them online. And to do this, I have already uh, gotten your Gmail accounts. So each of you will also need to, once I send out a email, it's going to look like this, where you'll see my name and then you'll see what I'm inviting the student to be able to access and participate. And what you need to do is you need to go to your Gmail account, click on this yellow or whatever the link is at the bottom that you see. And in this case, it's connected to this story arc right here we're going to be doing for this week for English. And I can tell that a student has joined because I can see a circle which allows the student to have access to this document. So to access this, you need to go to your Gmail account and you'll see either a blue or yellow yellow link in this case. And this is going to allow the students to access the online templates. And you can see just for practicing purposes, I can see here that I'm accessed on here because it's pink. So I can see that I've accessed it and this is what I want the students to be able to do as well. Okay, so we're going to be using this throughout our online at most the majority of the time as we're doing our different online classes so that the students can participate. So this week we're going to be looking at personal narratives and this is a document that the students are going to need access to. Okay, so I'm going to send this link to you via Classroom Dojo and you'll be able to watch this video online through YouTube. Thank you.